Greetings, Earthlings. It is WBO Wombat coming at you live from Area 51, where we've got K, we've got Law, we've got TSO, we've got somebody else, but yeah, it's, it's the snake pit up in here. Uh, so we're doing a review on Dead Phoenix today, but I unfortunately never bought this Beyblade just because... I didn't need like a tenth zero and a sixth atomic. So, uh. And it's probably like the best Beyblade that I don't own. Just a disclaimer there. Like, it's still incredibly viable in the first stage and in deck. And the only reason I haven't bought it is just because, like, I am not planning on attending tournaments as frequently anymore. So. I don't really see much of a need for it anymore. But anyways, uh, the layer up first is called Dead Phoenix, and it's similar to Revive Phoenix in the sense that it has two parts. It has the uh, outer armor, which is called the Dead Armor, and the core, which I guess is just called the Phoenix Core, or the Dead Phoenix Core. Um, so these are cross-compatible with Revive Phoenix, and the best combination of these two is, of course, using the heavier dead armor with the revived phoenix core to create what's known as perfect phoenix. Um, if you put revived phoenix's armor with revived phoenix's core, it's called revived phoenix. Same with dead phoenix. If you just use the configuration it comes with, it's known as dead phoenix. The heavier one is perfect phoenix, and that's the one that you're going to see in tournaments for the most part, because it is the best. And if you have the revive armor on the dead core, it's actually called Imperfect Phoenix, not Rage Phoenix. Um, as some people have called it that in the past, but that's like an incorrect name. It's known as Imperfect Phoenix. Uh, so, like I said, uh, before the release of things like Judgment and Zwei, Perfect Phoenix outweighed most of its competition by like a solid at least seven or eight grams, like Hell Salamander's 22, he Dead Hades 22, but things like Archer Hercules or uh, Orb Aegis and Chosey Spriggan are like 19, so that's like a whole 10 gram weight advantage over them. It's got a lot of stamina, um, and the most common setup to use it on is Double O Cross Extend Plus, just because um, it's Double O is the heaviest disc, Cross is the best frame for Extend Plus, and then just Extend Plus has a really good same spin and opposite spin performance. And this is still a combo that you'll see a lot in tournaments today. Um, it's with the release of Judgment and Zwei, and I guess now Lord too, it's become uh, a little bit easier to take out than it was in the past, where I'd say the most consistent way to defeat it was to use something like Orb Aegis on Atomic or Orbit. Just because uh, Orb Aegis, the shape of it, makes it good at knocking off the Phoenix armor. So that will allow it to lose stamina in same spin and become destabilized by Orbit or Atomic much easier. But Judgment also takes care of it pretty handily if you can like aim even decently well. Uh, that's why you'll need to aim a little better just because it's an opposite spin matchup, but those can both handle it relatively easily. I've actually found that, er, actually can't, can't test this myself because I don't have two Extend Pluses, but I feel like if you launched Archer Hercules uh, on Extend Plus hard enough, you could also probably just straight up outspin it and not have to worry about... Um, like, somebody pulling a left spin bearing or extend plus on you, like, which happens sometimes when you use Orb Aegis on Atomic or Orbit. Um, it's also seen on Atomic a few times, but I don't really like that, just because Atomic is more of a, like, raw stamina driver, and if the armor comes off of that, then you lose a bunch of stamina, just because it's, like, over, I wouldn't say over half of your weight, but it's, like, a decent bit of your weight right there just gone. So, um, it'll also make you, well, I wouldn't say easier to burst, just because, like, the Phoenix core is so small and round, but it will, it'll make you a lot lighter, you'll lose a lot of stamina. So, Dead Phoenix is still a good layer, um, 
if you don't want the like extra zero in atomic like I did then it is released and I think a random layer collection in green. I still didn't buy that one either, just because I wasn't interested in any of the other layers for it. Um, so, yeah, despite me not having it, Dead Phoenix is a good part. Uh, the disc is zero. It's still, it's like the pretty standard meta disc nowadays. Some people prefer double O just for stamina or weight, but this is just kind of if you don't know what to do, you can probably put zero on it and it'll be fine. It's underside isn't as smooth as seven or ten or double O. So if you are planning to use like Eternal or Revolve or um I can't think of any or yeah, keep. You would want to use one of those that has a smoother bottom because they will allow the combo to roll a bit better once it falls over. Um But This isn't the sticky zero, but if you have like a painted zero, some of them will stick to like uh, Lord or Judgment, or I think Heaven too now, but like that's pretty new news, so I would need someone to fact check me on that. Heaven apparently has sticky discs as well, and zero might be one of them. So if you get like a painted one of those from Shadow Amaterios or whatever the gold zero comes with, then that's also pretty good. Um, personally, I prefer you, or I. First of all, I don't have Blitz, but I prefer using Zero on Judgment over Blitz, just because it'll allow you to pick a frame as well. And I feel like something like Dagger is maybe a little bit better than Blitz, like either weight distribution wise or life after death wise, just in case you do run into like opposite spin extreme dash or opposite spin whatever else. Um, but yeah, Zero is still a pretty solid disc. It's just become way more common to release since Spriggan Requiem. It's in like, it was in like probably half of the God, or not God, Chosey series stuff. So if you don't have the zero by now, you're, this is, I guess, a good way to get it. And then the Atomic from Dead Phoenix is actually a little different from uh, all the Atomics released before. I mentioned this in I think the, the Hazard Kirbyus video with Extend not with Extend Plus, with the Dagger Frame, that, uh... What's it called? I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, um... So the Hazard Kirbyus has a mostly defective atomic, like... Specifically that one has... People have found a lot of problems with it, where the ball will fall out, or this little ring will just kind of like slide out and be loose, and that makes it bad. I feel like that might have been a intentional like attempt at a mold variation and they actually changed it to make the ball a little bit smaller and more free spinning for the dead phoenix atomic which is not this one by the way the dead phoenix one is like solid black with a red ring but as i didn't buy dead phoenix i don't have that specific one there is some like debate on whether it's actually better than the original atomic or not um some people have said it improves same spin stamina some people have said it improves life after death some people say that, oh, just being free spinning doesn't necessarily make it better. But there's been, like, no, I think, conclusive evidence on which one is preferred. Um, I think at the end of the day, Atomic is Atomic. And it's going to lose to Bearing or Extend Plus or, like, Destroy or Eternal and a bunch of other stuff at this point and Opposite Spin. Like, even Octa, too. Like, the Danger Bomb could take this out. Uh, so, winning the Atomic versus Atomic matchup is kind of crucial, but like rather than relying on your Atomic being better than your opponent's Atomic, I think it would be smarter to just like rely on using a better disc or a better frame that's more optimized for that. But nevertheless, Atomic is still probably like a top three, top, maybe not top three, probably like top five driver in the game right now. So still a good part to have. Um, actually, in the anime, the Beyblade Dead Phoenix used 10 in friction from Revive Phoenix, so I'm not sure. I guess they released, like, Zero and Atomic with Dead Phoenix as a pure competitive booster pickup kind of thing. It's nice to finally have, like, a guaranteed way to get Atomic as well.
or a guaranteed cheap way because as up until then it had only been in uh sets and random boosters but uh overall dead phoenix is i'd say it's still a pretty mandatory buy especially if you don't own any of the parts in it um like i said zero and atomic have become pretty common but atomic was only in random boosters or sets up until this point so if you need a cheap guaranteed atomic um this is the way to go Perfect Phoenix is still pretty powerful, but you will also need Revive Phoenix to use it. Revive Phoenix has been released a bunch of times in a bunch of different colors. You can like customize it with purple or silver, or you can even make like a Christmas Phoenix with the green one and the original Revive Phoenix, which actually looks pretty nice with this atomic, but overall, um, despite me not having it, I'd say it's a pretty good, it's a pretty mandatory purchase, just because Dead or Perfect Phoenix is still so good. And even if you do have a bunch of zeros and atomics, it never really hurts to have more. But uh, I think this is the end of the Cho Z series. I don't know if I'll do GT just because I haven't bought a lot of GT bays. So if this if this is the last review, I guess I won't see you next time. But uh, if it isn't, then I'll see you back starting with Ace Dragon.